experiment to measure the melting point of benzoic acid. In this experiment, we will measure the melting point of the benzoic acid crystals formed in the first half of the experiment. Since the melting point of benzoic acid is greater than 100 degrees Celsius, we use an aluminium melting point block. We had to leave the crystals air dry overnight as an incorrect result would be obtained for the melting point. Measuring the melting point of a substance is often used by chemists to test the purity of a substance and also to help identify the substance. Tables of melting points of most common substances are readily available to help in this task. To measure the melting point of the crystals, we place them in a very narrow glass tube called a capillary tube. To help them fit in the tube, we grind up the crystals. A pestle and mortar is used to grind up the crystals. Seal the end of a capillary tube by rotating it for a few seconds in the blue flame of a Bunsen burner. Rotate the end of the capillary tube into the sample of benzoic acid crystals. Collect some of the benzoic acid crystals in the capillary tube. Drop the capillary tube through a long length of glass tubing, standing vertically on the laboratory bench. Repeat this procedure until the crystals are at a depth of about one centimetre from the bottom of the tube. Place the capillary tube in the aluminium melting point block on a hot plate and place a digital thermometer in the aluminium block. Turn on the hot plate and observe the crystals until they melt, that is, until they turn to a colourless liquid. Note the reading on the thermometer at which the crystals begin to melt. Also, note the temperature at which the crystals finish melting. These two temperatures are the melting point range of the benzoic acid. This range is the melting point of the benzoic acid. Allow the aluminium block to cool and repeat the experiment using a second sample of benzoic acid. Take the average of the two readings as the melting point range of the benzoic acid. Repeat the experiment with an impure sample of benzoic acid and compare the results that you have obtained. This concludes the experiment.